Ever since Triumph pulled the plug on the Daytona 675, the British giant has had no full-fared sport bike in its portfolio. That has finally changed in 2024. The Hinkley brand has finally re-entered the sport bike segment by taking the wraps off the new Daytona 660. It locks horns with the new breed of middleweight fared bikes, such as the Yamaha YCFR7 and the Honda CBR650R. But you shouldn't get carried away with the Daytona tag, since this isn't the 675 replacement we've all been craving. With our expectations lowered, let's check out what's on offer. The new Daytona 660 borrows its 660cc triple cylinder powerhouse from the Trident 660, but not without notable changes. For instance, the compression ratio sees a marginal increase to 12 to 1, while the red line rises to 12,650 rpm. This, in tandem with the new exhaust, results in an output of 93.7 horsepower and 51 pound-feet, a sizable increment from the Trident's 80 horsepower and 47 pound-feet. A six-speed transmission helps put the power to the ground, with a quick shifter only available as an accessory. In the market, these numbers position the Daytona right in the heat of the matter. It's well clear of the twin-cylinder Yamaha YCFR7 and in super close contention with the four-cylinder Honda CBR650R. Heck, it's not too down on the 100hp Aprilia RS660 either. We also know the triple-cylinder Howl is better than all of the above-listed rivals. As for underpinnings, the Daytona 660 is built around a steel perimeter chassis. It relies on 41mm show a separate function forks and a monoshock, where only the latter has adjustability. Each end joins hands with 17 inches cast aluminum alloy wheels wrapped in Michelin Power 6 tires. Braking is via two 310mm disc brakes up top and a 220mm disc outpack. The front discs have steel braided lines, although Triumph hasn't revealed the make of the calipers. Dimension-wise, the Daytona weighs 443 pounds, a sizable 26 up from the Trident. The weight is right on par with the 445-pound CBR650R, but about 30 pounds more than the YCFR7. You should also know the sport bike has a sharper rake and marginally higher saddle height than its naked counterpart. The fascia of the motorcycle takes inspiration from the OG Daytona 675, evident from the chunky dual pod lights and the triangular air intake, whereas the puny tail lamp plate holder and alloy wheels remind us of the Trident 660. That's where the reminiscence ends though. The Daytona boasts new full fairings to look like a proper sport bike, complete with a sporty belly panel and a sleek windscreen. This is complemented by an aggressive fuel tank design with protrusions to help you lock your knees. The color options are new too, coming in with Snowdonia white, satin granite and carnival red. Another big change is the new ergonomic triangle. The Daytona features a semi-clip-on handlebar along with repositioned foot pegs. This, along with the reshaped saddle, results in a sportier riding position than the Trident. Triumph calls the position suitable for all-day riding comfort, so don't expect super sport-like ergonomics here. Once atop, you're greeted by a LCD cum TFT instrument cluster straight from the new Street Triple R and the Tiger Sport 660. It gives you access to three ride modes, traction control and dual channel ABS. The display is also ready for Triumph's connectivity module, which enables turn-by-turn -turn navigation and phone controls. Triumph has priced the new Daytona 660 from $9,195, that's just $600 more than the Trident 660. More importantly, the price is right in the ballpark of the $9,199 YCFR7, while being a sizable $700 less than the CBR650R, considering the latter is up for an update and price revision, there's no denying the Daytona is a lip-smacking prospect in the middleweight sport bike segment. Yes, it might not be the Daytona comeback we've been waiting for, but the new motorcycle can most likely do some serious damage to its rivals with what's on offer. So let's swallow our pride, go test ride, and then form opinions on the new 660. We'll be able to do that in a few months' time when the sport bike lands on American soil. What are your thoughts on the new Daytona 660 from Triumph? Let me know in the comments section below. If you liked this video then smash that like button and if you'd like to catch more motorcycle news and content, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.